Christy, thank you for joining me today. I know that your time is valuable, but I'd particularly like to talk through with you how you found the RPL process um, being in the corporate environment and in a very busy job with Perth Racing. Why did you choose to investigate the notion of recognition of prior learning? Well, Liz, it was introduced to me through the Events Industry Association. And I've spent almost 20 years in the industry, worked extremely hard and didn't have a qualification. So I thought it was absolutely ideal. Having done the qualification, and uh, it's been some time since you graduated, can we reflect on what you believe the benefits were of doing this uh, thing called recognition of prior learning? Well, particularly in the uh, events industry, you work extremely long hours, extremely hard, and you don't get a lot of recognition. And when you can look back and say, I do have these qualifications, and it was very broad, the qualification from administrative skills through to operational skills, it identified what I have achieved over these number of years I've been within the industry. It gave me the opportunity heading uh, the marketing team at Perth Racing to work down a strategic level and then also look at the units that cover all areas of the business and take those back to our organisation. And it also identified how much I actually do know within the events industry, which was incredibly rewarding. Christy, we talked about the, the benefits, the personal benefits of the RPL process for you. And as you said, you've been in the industry for a number of years, you work very long hours. Do you think that the RPL process is of value, of benefit to your organisation? There's a number of ways that it's benefited Perth Racing. Firstly, from the strategic level, and looking at the business planning that I was currently doing and how I can streamline those processes. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, for the organisation overall, with I work with the executive team and bringing back suggestions with risk management and processes for the entire organisation. And thirdly, I manage a team of six event staff and it was terrific from a leadership perspective to say, I've achieved this events diploma and let's have a look at your skills and where we can develop those. Excellent. Can we reflect a little on the operational aspects of the relationship between you, the candidate, and the assessor at Central? Do you believe that you got the support you needed? Was the process easy to work with? Was it a pleasant experience? Oh, the relationship was very valuable. I was daunted initially to go back to study, managing a full-time career and family. However, the process and the communication was very clear through the Institute and the outcomes and expectation were made clear. And I also found it rewarding in sharing that information on all of the work that I had been particularly uh, working on with our Festival of Perth Racing to share the initiatives and have some feedback on where projects were heading. Christy, would you recommend the RPL process to your colleagues? I recall you saying earlier that you head up a team of six planners. Do you see a role for recognition of prior learning in their professional development? Do you think that the gaining of a qualification is the opportunity to recognise talent and to encourage staff to stay. Absolutely, and I've mentioned a number of times how rewarding I found the program, and I believe other colleagues would feel the same, and coming to the Institute gain the support. Uh, as mentioned, you work incredibly long hours within the events industry, often not recognised, mm. and it's terrific to come back to have a qualification at the end of many years of hard work. I must say to you that uh, as the assessor, I particularly enjoyed the experience because it helped me to actually look at uh, the currency of my skills. It helped me to authenticate that that I was delivering in the classroom. And so I thank you for that support in that process. So I think we could say it was mutually rewarding. It's an absolute pleasure. Patrick, thank you for joining me. 
I'd like to talk to you about the, this thing called recognition of prior learning. And I'd like to understand what motivated you to investigate how you might go about achieving a qualification in events. I, I had been working within the leisure industry for over 10 years. And during that time, I had gained a lot of knowledge and experience in, in the work that I'd undertaken. I was looking to engage in some additional education at the time and I came across the recognition of prior learning. When I, when I investigated how the process worked, I was able to determine that I could undertake some studies on the job and also during uh, the time that suited my, my own personal needs. So what I undertook was a, a diploma in event management through the recognition of prior learning program mm -hmm. and I found it to be extremely beneficial for the job that I was doing. It's some time since you graduated, Patrick, with your diploma of events. Can we reflect on what you believe the benefits were to you personally in the process, in the recognition of prior learning? One of the main benefits of the RPL that I found is that you could do it in the work environment. Um, I, I was fortunate enough to receive a lot of support with the on-the-job training uh, through my, my employer. So basically they covered the, the costs for the course. Mm -hmm. um, but also the, because you could do the RPL in, in the work environment, I could do it at my own pace, which I found um, very beneficial. And um, I, I just, as I said previously, I was able to use all that prior knowledge that I'd learned. And, um, and then I was fortunate enough to get a qualification out of my, my um, prior learning. So, and how that has helped me personally and professionally is I have um, recently commenced a, a new job. And uh, this qualification that I've gained through RPL certainly helped me achieve that um, new career direction. Can we talk a little about uh, the relationship between you, the candidate and central, the Central Institute of Technology in terms of the operational aspects of the RPL process? The support from um, Central TAFE was fantastic. It was from the very start when I was inquiring about the program, um, right and through until I undertook the program and then completed it. Um, there were several sessions on the job um, involving a um, representative from Central and um, they just talked through the process so it was quite an a, um, easy decision for me to make. And, um, and, and then the, when I actually commenced the program there was support provided along the way so just to, to steer me in the right direction and to, um, to make sure that all the outcomes were being achieved for the, um, the particular course that I undertook, which was a um, diploma in event management. Thank you. And finally, would you recommend the RPL process to your colleagues? Is it something that you might use as a recognition of a skill set within the organisation? Does it have a value within your organisation uh, as professional development for an event team? Absolutely. In fact, I've already recommended several colleagues investigate the, the program and they're currently looking at starting the program in the near future. Um, one of the main goals in the program is the flexibility that it offers with the commencement dates. So my colleagues will be able to undertake the course at a time that suits their particular needs. So.